This shift is constantly going on throughout our entire lives. As humans, we love to change our homeostasis. We love to change our internal balance. Because you also talked about tapping while reading or something, trying to get like a stimulus, I guess that's, you know, I don't know if that's, that's what it is because you could probably explain it cool. better than what my thoughts are. But is that the idea to just get distracted slightly into what you're reading? Yeah. So the idea is real simple and it actually ties into, once again, going to the coffee shop, listen mm-hmm. to Lofi. It's because it's impossible for our brain to focus 100% cognitive effort on two tasks at once. Wow. God damn, I need to do more podcasts at this time. <laughs> wow. You're just, you might just be clear. a night owl. That's what you might telling be. telling me. Wow. <laughs> I forget so. Waking up early. <laughs> telling me. Yeah. I'm leaving the 6 a.m. club. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea is simple. Our brains can't focus on two tasks with 100% cognitive effort at one time. One has to sacrifice. If you don't believe me, when you're next on the motorway, and you're speaking with your partner, you can hold yeah. a pretty good conversation. Yeah. But then as soon as you come into a little bit of traffic, that conversation goes over your head. And then you have to focus more on what's going on on the road. So whilst you're on the motorway and the road's clear, 30% of your cognitive energy is spent driving. Mm-hmm. And you've probably driven 10 minutes. And you're like, I can't remember what I did. And 70% of your cognitive effort has been on talking to the person next to you. This shift is constantly going on for our entire lives. As humans, we love to change our homeostasis. We love to change our internal balance. That's why we we drink, we take drugs, we get Mm -hmm. stimulants, because we don't like to feel like we're plateaued. Yeah. Right? Things have either got to be great or dismal. (laughs) We don't like things in the middle. But to bring it back, so listening to the music, going to the coffee shop, what it does is it's a small, low-level cognitive distraction. So the conversation in the coffee shop next to you is just loud enough where you have to focus a little bit harder on the work you're doing, because if you don't, you're going to get distracted by the conversation. Wow. There's no big science behind that. As opposed to going to a library where it's dead silent, and all you find is your mind wanders. Left, right, center. It's like meditation. (laughs) Yeah. Which, yeah, there's a time and place for that meditation where you let these thoughts come. Not when you are doing an important task. (laughs) Not when you're doing important work. Yeah. Right? So you need to introduce these low-level cognitive distractions into your environment. Music is one. You've got the beats playing in the background. Your brain is having to block it out by focusing more on the work you're doing. Number two. Press in the tip of your tongue. I gave this one a TED talk. Uh, yeah. The top of your palate. Right? Now, I'm going to go a step further. One, pressing your tongue to the top of your mouth requires very little cognitive energy. But number two, watch when people are reading. Don't be too creepy about it. Make sure you look away at intervals. Yeah. Whilst they're reading, their mouths are doing auditory reassurance. Now, Arguably, if you're listening to this podcast and you comprehend it, you can speak English. There is no reason for you to use your vocal muscles or your jaw muscles to pronounce the words whilst you're reading. We do this to reassure ourselves, but we don't know we're doing it. So one thing you can do to stop that is by pressing the tongue to the top of your mouth while you remove the ability to go, And if you're listening to this, I'm moving my mouth, by the way. Right. 